I felt this tingle on my leg and I couldn't really discern what it was. A little hand from the, underneath the sofa coming towards my calf and just like kind of like grabbing it and like kind of grabbing my clothes as if a child would to get your attention. To her left. Huh. What? Something just touched my shoulder. Like poked me. Oh! No way! Are you just passing through right now? What? Children's spirits. Oh! That's awesome. Oh yes. my. It's like all the time we're doing this in the bed. In the bed. I thought so too, out of the corner of my eye, there's a shadow right yeah, there. Yeah, over there? At the corner of my eye, I just saw a shadow. Right there. Yeah. You want to touch somebody? Come and touch me. It's like somebody was doing like this on the bed. Like leaning over? Like somebody just was just like... Like hovering over you. Just get, getting some bumps like that on the bed. What's up guys, welcome back to episode six of After Death. Today we actually made it to the Scotsman Inn, which actually has the sighting of a little girl up on the top. This is like one of the places where it's not publicly out there for like the world to see. And tonight is the very first time we're gonna be publicizing this for you and trying to crack down on that. And there's a lot of history here and it's said that in 1773, the first Scottish settlement happened here. And I'm standing in the middle of the street right now. But back in the town, this actually goes way back. The very first settlement of Scottish immigrants came here through the Hector Key down over there by the marina. They say that this is one of the most haunted towns in all of Nova Scotia. And tonight, we're going straight up the heart of one of the most oldest spots in this entire town. Essentially, our entire center is about this. It's, it's uh, the settlers from the Hector. Um, they came over in 1773. There was 189 of them on board the ship, and that is kind of, sort of the base foundation of our town. Uh, there's still a lot of people who have ancestors that came over on board that ship. Um, and this area itself is a lot of history as far as the Scots go, and uh, the Mi'kmaq element to it as well. Um, there's a lot of activity here back in the day because it was a big shipbuilding port at one point in time. Uh, a lot of people came through. There is a U.S. Embassy that used to be based here, so it was a bustling place at one point in time. Um, it's much quieter now. It's uh, that, that kind of, those days have kind of passed for the town. But a lot of the architecture of those days is still here. So a lot of, you have a lot of old buildings, you have a lot of history. Um, and where anywhere you have that, you're going to end up with ghost stories. You're going to end up with, with uh, elements of the unexplained in, in certain things, for sure. There's a couple of, um, I used to give to ghost walks, and there's a couple of really great stories about the Cabot Trail. Um, the Cabot Trail used to be a train line that ran through town, and it's all since been ripped out, and it's now this beautiful walking trail that goes, winds its way throughout the town and out into the woods. But that used to be railway, and there are people that have houses that back onto the Cabot Trail, which is no longer railway, which have uh, actually told me over the years that every now and again you might catch the sound of a train. Uh, going past your house at the back of your house and there's no train there and there hasn't been for many many years <laughs> so there are things like that that happen um, the harbor itself again there's you know the famous stories of all across Nova Scotia about the famous ghost ships and things that we have so we do have some of that in our harbor as well odd sounds um, lots of sightings that throughout the years uh, and talking to people but yeah absolutely there's a lot of history here and like I said, anywhere there's history, there's ghosts. There's been other spottings around town as well. There's been um, spottings of people walking down through the mark what used to be the market square, which is now the town gazebo. 
uh, there was a spotting of a woman in like a long skirt and apron, like looking like she was going to market. Um, that was spotted early one morning. I haven't had any at the Scotsman. I, I have not really. I don't think I've ever really been in the building there, but there is a lot, and I wouldn't be surprised about the Scotsman because that particular intersection where the Scotsman exists was a very bustling town area at, at one time, way back in the early centuries. Uh, so this was where a lot, uh, the majority of commerce happened in that particular area. So all of those buildings have a lot of history, and a lot, of, uh, all of those buildings have a lot of people attached to them. So I wouldn't be at all surprised that there would be activity there. It's like dead. It's literally a ghost town right now. Yeah, honestly, like look, we can. We're walking in the middle of the street right now, yeah. and not one person is walking down the street. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so apparently back in the day, you could also call this the Auberge Walker Inn. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Walker actually built this as a house originally. I think it was a general store at one point, but they also had it as a bank. So it's really cool to kind of see the history. This dates back to 1865. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say that the Scottish immigrants that came here haunt the town. I'm not even going to go into detail about the psychic that left the note. I'm actually going to walk up there. Jeff is up there right now. We're going to go over that psychic note. And I think later on we're going to connect the dots and see if the little girl ghost that people claim to see is part of what the psychic picked up. Mm. And I want to see if you can actually connect the dots too. I think it's going to be a good night tonight. You think so? The whole third floor to ourselves. The owners are absolute gems of people. Oh, they're beautiful We've been people. chatting with them on and off all night. So they pulled some strings for us and gave us the whole third floor that we can investigate and see what we can catch tonight. We have the entire third floor all of that to ourselves and apparently the ghost girl that people see is up on the third floor they put us right in the heart of where the girl is seen i think that was her room or something he was saying yeah so it, they were saying that they think it was a, one of the daughters of the servants who died i think in the house or near it or something but and it actually connects with what a psychic left here on that note so we're not going to go into full detail yet yeah. Yeah. jeff's up there screwing around doing something so Guys, we are going right in there. If you guys have not seen the rest of our After Death series, go down to the playlist in the description and check it out. Right now, we are documenting the majority of Nova Scotia and we're also doing a little bit of American spots. So we're kind of basing it here and kind of showing you guys spots that we truly have never had the access to. So tonight is making history. Hey everybody and welcome to the Scotsman Inn. An interesting building built in 1860 to 1865. It was built originally for the great 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 granddaughter of James Stuart IV, King of Scotland. It used to have servants quarters on the top floor. The owner's accommodation was on the next floor where I'm at right now was the formal dining room and entertaining area. And downstairs were two shops. There's a lot of history for all you ghost junkies out there. There's a rumor we have a couple of spirits. Touch wood. They happen to be nice and friendly. We have a lovely little girl that sometimes shows her face to a few guests. And apparently there's an old lady. Unfortunately, I have never had the experience, but maybe I'm not that good enough. But we had had a few people here that expressed their feelings, emotions, and we've had guests and stories and letters written that people have seen a little girl in the window. For all you history buffs here, as I said before, it was built for the great, great, great granddaughter of James Stuart IV, King of Scotland, England and France. A very astute businessman who was married to the princess came over here in the early 18th century and started his business. We were the first bank of Pictou. When we got into the basement, we found the original safe from the very first bank of Pictou. Then he built the bank of Nova Scotia right next door. This place has been a politician's office, it's been a shop, it's been a library, it's been a newspaper, it's been apartments, it's been a guest house. We've spent the last eight years passionately restoring it back to its original grace and beauty of a fine baronial Scottish house. If you want to come and experience some history, some culture, and a little bit different, come to the Scotsman here in Pipto. I'm so excited. I really want to see if we can capture this girl that is seen here and just potentially get some answers for people and give 
people closure as to like who could actually be here. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Ready? All right, let's go. I'm Kim Moser, and I'm a paranormal investigator. Also, I am a director for a number of TV series. My first encounter with the Scotsman Inn was roughly a year ago. The whole town of Picto itself is a strange and creepy town. It's almost like it's set in time and to an extent remains pretty untouched. The Scotsman Inn, the first time I ever drove by it, I thought that place looks haunted. So when I actually had to go to Picto for work, I reached out to a local friend in Picto and she had recommended that I stay at the Scotsman Inn. This had nothing to do with anything haunted related. And I ended up reaching out to the owner and just asked if there was a place to stay. There was. Great. Happened to ask them, by the way, is your place haunted? And upon first conversation, they really didn't think it was. Turns out I stayed there, didn't really have any experiences. I ended up staying there again. I talked to the owner after the first night that I was there and I said, hey, this is what else I do. I'm a paranormal investigator. Would you be open to the idea of myself and a team coming to see if your place is haunted? I totally believe it might be. And there's a chair at the top of the stairs that I feel like something or someone is near. And that's when the owner of the inn and his wife kind of brought up a couple of pieces of information that I said, oh my gosh, this place is definitely haunted. So the first thing that they mentioned was their dog. So their dog normally wouldn't get spooked out by anything. And where their living quarters are in the inn is on the second floor. And they would always keep that door closed if they had guests and open if they didn't. And when they ended up first moving in, that dog would get upset, it would bark, it would stare at certain things in the corner of the room that neither one of them could see. Fast forward a little bit, they ended up getting a psychic medium in as a guest, and she provided them with this pretty detailed letter about who she thought was haunting the place. So when I received that letter and I looked at it, there are a couple of things that, you know, kind of ticked off the boxes in terms of my spidey senses. I was definitely feeling like there was a child around and I was also feeling like there was maybe a woman around as well. So then myself and my paranormal investigation team we ended up doing an investigation there and immediately, right before we actually started to get the cameras rolling, I felt this tingle on my leg and I couldn't really discern what it was other than feeling like it was a little hand from the, underneath the sofa coming towards my calf and just like kind of like grabbing it and like kind of grabbing my clothes as if a child would to get your attention. So I stopped for a moment and I was like, uh, I'm not ready to start filming yet because there is something going on here. So my friend Holly, she's like, okay, let's get out our cell phones and let's start recording this because this is weird. In the time of us starting the conversation, with the cell phones going, rolling, recording, she said, weren't we just talking about a television show that featured children? And I was like, yeah. And as soon as she said children, I felt it on my leg again. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. I feel it again. So this kind of like cat and mouse situation happened for about five minutes. One of the members on the team, Kristen, was feeling this like overwhelming sadness and feeling of loneliness. And we went to one of the rooms upstairs. So it was the second floor, the first room on the left. 
she sat down um, in the mirror. There's sort of like a little dresser there with a mirror. So she sat there and as she was sitting there, she just like welled up with tears and she was talking about her child. It was really hard for me to watch because I knew what that letter said, um, that the psychic had provided the owners, but I hadn't told Kristen. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. And then I started getting this overwhelming feeling of anger, which I've investigated a lot of places. I'm going to say I've probably investigated about 60 to 65 locations and I've never been angry. But that night I was so angry that I, as soon as we were done filming, I closed my door and went to bed. And I can honestly say that has never happened. I wanted nothing to do with anybody on the team, which is also a very, very odd occurrence for me. And looking back on it now, I kind of wonder if it may have been the feelings of the woman, the spirit of the woman who maybe was angry that we were still there and we were kind of poking the bear. I don't know what to attribute that to. The last thing I remember about the Scotsman Inn that was odd was it was daytime and I was just in my room doing a little bit of paperwork and computer work, just getting caught up on things before we started filming again that night for the investigation side of things. And I kept hearing like a door slightly open and then close. And I'm looking at the window. The window is not open. It's from what I remember, not a warm enough day for anybody to have the windows open. And the bathroom door had no air circulation in it. So I don't know where this source of air could have been coming from to open and close the door. So I got on my cell phone and I started recording and I stood next to it. And that's when you can see that the door slightly opens and then closes. It is 2.47 in the afternoon. This is day two, I've slept here for one night. I'm just in my room and I'm doing a little bit of work before I get ready for investigations tonight. The bathroom door, the bathroom door keeps opening and closing. Let me show you. It's a weird spot. I never felt like it was a scary experience. I just felt like there's some activity there with a child and a woman, and maybe they want their story told, maybe they don't. So I think pretty soon we're gonna be starting our investigation, but I want to go over something because our friend Kim sent us a note of a psychic that left it here and she left this whole note here saying something to do with how a woman was worried that her second husband was going to be left out at sea and she actually lived up here she really wanted to please her husband because he would compliment her blah 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 the room at the top of the stairs was hers she could see the harbor and watch for the ships um second time the room that faced the town was supposed to be hers, which is one of these two. So I think it was, which was one of the rooms? Probably more this one. It was yours, right? To check on the arbor because the arbor is yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's oh. weird because... What? Fold? Fold. And mm -hmm. burnt here. So what's interesting about this is Apparently she started working here when she was 13 and she died at 26 mm. So what the locals say is from the windows and being inside here you can actually see this woman or this girl and This psychic stayed here 
I assume she had very next to little like info at all. And she also had a little sister that was also a worker here. And she was pregnant and she fell and died. Hmm. So this psychic, this is what apparently she picked up and Kim literally sent this to us. And I wonder if we can try and connect the dots and see if these girls are part of what the psychic picked up. You know, mm. and also see if like earlier on it said Walker. Gruesome. Whoa, whoa. Gruesome. Gruesome there? I mean. Oh, no, I won't. No, what? I won't. No, you won't what? No, you. We're talking about the investigation. Are they saying that they won't come communicate? It also said gruesome, which I think is relating maybe to the story you just told about how the woman was pregnant mm. and fell and lost her baby. Yeah. That's pretty is gruesome. Is that what you were talking about? Um, okay. I miss my family. <gasps> oh my god. Did you also hear that bang? I think so. Okay. I don't know if that was actually... <laughs> I don't know if it was. Like up here. Or... It sounded like it was coming from back there. But anyways, um, today is a full moon. So I brought like a mini. Yes. I brought like a mini altar with me. So we have an offering for the spirits today. I know it doesn't look pleasant <laughs> at all, but it's, it's it's a bunch of like honey and herbs and different things to kind of like activate the spirits tonight and also to like help bring them out. So we have our intentions written in here and a couple other goodies for the spirits. Then uh, since it is a full moon. I brought my wand, as those of you who don't know, I'm pagan, so um, this just has energy on it to help with the spirits. And lastly, I have Florida water. So this is to help protect us. So Skulls. You... Skulls. Skulls. So um, we all just kind of wear it as cologne, pretty much, and it just helps protect any protect us against any like negativity tonight. And right. To just make sure we're all safe. All right. so, so how do I have to do it? Yeah, so pretty much you just take it and you just put it on like you would cologne. You rub your wrists together in circles and then, yeah, it does All its right. job. I just did mine. <laughs> okay. so. All right. Oh, dude, that smells like gin. You don't like the smell <laughs> of it? <laughs> it smells, smells too like, strange. <laughs> it smells good. Like that? Yeah. And then just rub your wrists together, your wrists. Oh, okay. There you go. Uh, on the other side? No, you're good. I'm good now? Yeah, now hand it to Jeff. All right, Jeff. You're misinterpreting me. <laughs> so you gotta make sure we're all protected here. Insis. Insis? <laughs> Sunshine. Jeff is double protected because he also put on some yes. other protection yeah, on Yeah, I put the impure scented. Wow. Now I'm double protected. <laughs> all right, so I think we're all fairly decently good now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right. should we have the cap. Yeah. Oh, so we have a lot to really work with here. Patricia. We got that note, so Patricia. let's start. Patricia Jones. Patricia. Patricia and Jones. Oh wow. Whoa. Okay. We had the name and the surname. Patricia Jones, can you confirm that it's you by making any of our devices go off? We have one in the room. We have one in the hall. We have a device here. So if you don't know, the devices are the little gadgets, the little objects that we have kind oh, of placed oh, around. Oh, look. Please get out. Oh, were you just touching this device? It's going off. You guys see oh, that? Oh, yeah, right? yeah. I don't really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see him. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That's awesome. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank Patricia. I'm listening to everything. I'm listening, I'm listening to everything. To everything. Should we introduce ourselves first? Or? Yes, yes, I think that's a great idea. All right, well, my name is Lamar. I'm Chelsea. 
Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> and my name is Jeff. Orbus. Orbus. This is the second time we've got that. Mean? I had it on this. Macula. 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 So pretty much tonight, for all the spirits and souls that are here, is we are just here to communicate with you, get your story out, and see if we can just prove that you're still residing here. Most importantly, we're not going to cause any harm whatsoever. Offrian. We're just here to offer some Offrian. support, I guess. Offrian. 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 Is it like an offering or something? Oh, well that could make sense. Offrian in Latin? Yeah. If we're talking to the walkers right now who originally built this building in the bank, can you touch the REM pot that's behind closed doors back there? Or touch the cap hole Pain. that's next to it? Did the little girl fail? Pain. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Is the little girl here that is seen here? It's not just me. <gasps> so. How many other spirits are here then? If it's not just you, can you give us a number? Oh my god. Oh, that was me. That's you, yeah, it's the compass. Yeah, I, I've uh, closed the sensor for the movement. If you're the little girl, are you able to appear for us tonight? We have more steps. Oh. And I'm walking. Are you going to walk for us? I don't know about you guys, but I actually feel like someone's with us right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I get that too. Carol. Carol. Do you hear wind chimes? Probably outside. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What, oh, yeah. I don't know what this feeling is. It almost feels like. How can I explain? The battery. The battery. <laughs> The battery, bro. Wow. Are you trying to drain our batteries right now? Hot. You're making our batteries hot. Mm -mm, I think they want to play like the hot and cold game. Oh. Hmm. If we walk around. Can you tell us through these devices if we're hot or cold? Hot meaning we're getting close, cold meaning we're further from you? High ems. High ems. High ems? High ems. We are apprehensive. <laughs> yeah, we're new faces, so that's understandable. Can we talk to the little girl? The little girl that's supposed to be... Stay. Stay? Stay? And one of them was telling us to go. Are you Smell. the... What? Smell? Smell. <laughs> All I smell is that gin. It smells good, okay? <laughs> water water smells really good. We want to talk to the little girl who is seen here. Are you able to appear for us? Could it? No. It said no. compass, but like I've been... No. No. What no. is... There's that, no way. That's not us. That what does it mean by compass? It's somebody's playing probably with the... There's a, like an internal compass in our cell phones and uh, tablets. So it's probably... Courage. 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 
Why don't you come take a seat on this nice tiny little short chair? Was that, could that have been me? No. No. That's not you because you're... No. What does gyro mean? Gyroscope. Gyroscope. Are you the little girl that's answering us right now? Are you sitting on the chair? Children's spirits. Oh! Oh! That's awesome. Sanguisuka. What Sanguisuka. was? Ah. Sanguisuka. Oh my God! What if we're talking to the little girl right now? Here, I have a toy for you. Uh, maybe you can roll the ball back to me, or make it go off. I saw that you made this go off earlier. Compass again. So if you're the child spirit, who people... <gasps> Did you hear that? Blue seal. Blue seal. <laughs> Are... Wow. So, we've, we found a note here that's from a psychic that picked up on a woman here that died at the age of 26. <laughs> And a younger spirit, that was her younger sister, is that correct? Make any of the devices go off if, if you can confirm that. I feel like they're hiding. Oh, they're trying to get used to us. Don't be afraid, we're really nice people. My name is Jeff, I'm a family man, I have kids. I have a little girl, her name Trees. Is... Trees? What do you mean by trees? Like I was saying, I'm a father, I have a daughter, her name is Gabriel. I have a son, his name is Zachary. What is your name? Can you tell me your name, please? Sense? Sense. Do you want us to sense you? Better watch out. <laughs> what do we have Better to watch, watch out, for? out. What do we have to watch out for? Can you tell us? Please? Mm. Would be nice. <gasps> no. My, what? my big battery is already at 24%. You're joking. No. no. Really? Yeah. And it did say battery. Yeah. Right <laughs> and it was when I plugged it in, it was a 94%. But those batteries don't drain. I'm supposed oh. to do at least two hours with that battery. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. So you're taking energy from our stuff. That's good. You have a light right here. Can you touch it and open it? It's called a flashlight. If you go near it... it family. Will... Family. Yes, I'm a family man. I have a family. Blue eyes. No, my, my eyes are brown. Margaret. Hello, Margaret. I knew that. By asking your name, you would tell me. You okay? I don't know. Something's like drawing me to that room. I right. think I think I'm gonna go sit in it for a bit. Back there? Yeah. I keep like I think I hear the REM pod slightly going off once in a while, mm -hmm. but something's like very much drawing me in here. Look how warm it is in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get in here, man. Why is it? Um, look at And if you look um, here, there's an imprint on the bed. <gasps> oh, yes. my God. And right the REM pod was going off earlier. And what? earlier on, the thing did say sleeping. And then I heard the REM pod go off. I think that this room has to do with something of one of the spirits. You heard that? <gasps> no! The REM pod, REM pod, REM pod. Can you do it again, please? Just a slight touch. Ceteris. Ceteris. 
If you're the spirit that Chelsea picked up, can you touch that REM pod, please? The round thing on the ground? Can you go in near it, please? That round thing? If you're the spirit that our friend, my friend Chelsea is sensing, just go near it. Just pass. And we'll know that you're there. Have you seen today how much the... It's Wow. It's Animare. It, it's freaking Latin words again. Hey Charles, I have an idea though. Uh, why don't I close the door and Jeff and I will be out here. Can you give me my dowsing rods? Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's the fan. Yeah. Oh, the wind. Oh, okay. yeah. Jesus Christ. I sound like someone was behind us. <laughs> And then just close the door now. All right, so I had the brilliant idea to um, close you in. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right. All right, see you soon. See you soon. See you guys. So I guess we're running things a little bit differently in this investigation, but Chels is honest. by herself right now. Honest. Honest. Eclipses. What in the? What is that? We're honest to the spirits. We are gonna be, we are gonna be honest with you. That was not us. I know. I know. We just want to be honest with you, so you can be honest with us, if that makes sense, okay? So what we're asking is for you to do your best to communicate with us. Sense again, bro. It's the second time. So, the owner was telling me before that there used to be a different staircase to what there is right now. Was this room at the top of this old staircase? The original staircase. Devices go off. Odium. 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 <sighs> Guys, we will have to. <laughs> this is cr Oh, oh my god! It was a red pod. Oh! This box. Thank you! You wanna cross them, please? Thank you so much. This is really cool. So, I know that a psychic was here once, and they said that they picked up on a couple spirits, one of them being an adult woman. Am I speaking to the adult woman who resides here? Can you tell us? Use the devices here to tell the number. Oh, guys. oh my god. I'm going to ask another question. Am I speaking to the woman or to the younger sister? who was pregnant and fell and lost the baby. Over there too, on the wall. And the rods crossed, yes. I, I was you just go. about tell can you tell us your name? We. Oui. We. Oui. Oui. But he talks to us. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Well, that's why we're here. We want to talk to you. Night. Yes. Yes, tonight. Yes, tonight. And tonight it's the full moon, so you can take the energy out of the uh, out of the moon. Very, very sorry for your loss of your baby and also for for you. Um, was this your bedroom? Thank you. Can you uncross the rods? 
Can you at least tell us why you hang around here? And can you use English words that are from our day so we can understand you? Unfortunately, we didn't have the chance like you to. I'm going to leave. Permission. I'm going to leave. Hear me. Oh, I have oh. a feeling, bro. Dude, I have a feeling that the voice we just heard is talking to Charles. There's a really big potential okay. that it was. We didn't have the chance like you guys in your time to learn Latin. We don't learn Latin anymore. Can you use normal words? Vanish. I'm going to leave vanish. And permission. You didn't ask permission. I'm going to leave. So I know that the note said you worked here. Does that mean that you were one of the servants for the family that lived here? Thank you so much. Can you uncross the rod, please? Thank you. So I also know that there's a little girl spirit here. And I'm wondering, is that the spirit of the baby that you lost? They're very, the rods are very slightly kind of pulling away. But the energy is low. No. Okay. Thank you. Well, can we talk to you, please? We, we're asking the permission. We're asking politely. Can you please stay with us and talk, communicate with us? We want to know your story. We want to know the graves. The graves. Do you want us to visit your grave? I wonder if they're buried here. I don't know. In one of the cemeteries in Picto. Good. Are you one of the Scottish settlers here that passed away on the boat or when you got here? If you're talking. Body. <sighs> Guys, it's Chelsea in the room. Body. I wonder if it was the a settler that passed away on the boat on the way on the or, way here, or even here, or even here. Yeah. Can you verify You've that? You've been before. You've been. Picture. Yes, we're taking pictures. We have cameras. <laughs> Thank no you for way. the red. Can you go near that red light again? Just to show us that you're here with us, please. That would be muchly appreciated, please. It's like they're taunting us. I know. Like, yes, we are here, but... Mockery. <gasps> oh, I, how do you explain that? How do you explain that right now? Intelligent. Oh! No way, bro! Oh my god! Are you able to talk to the little girl for me? Okay. Can you let her know that the three of us here tonight, that she can trust us, that you all can trust us? and that we will cause no harm. We just, we kind of want to get your story out because not a lot of people really know the story of this place and it's kind of hard to find more about the history. So we just want to get your story out there, really. Would you be willing to tell us your story tonight? Yes, thank you. Can you uncross the rods? 
I was, oh, I was just talking about that. Yeah. And it goes mockery. Like, yeah, it, they're taunting us. Mockery. Oh, oh. my God. My body's around here. <gasps> oh, my God. So when All right. you passed away, your body was here. Did you fell down the stairs? I just I have a big gust of cold right here. Look at the hair yeah. standing on my arm. It's almost, dude, it's like almost right here, like beside us, eh? It's right on me. Put your hand over my, my arm. Look. Oh. There is a weird cold. Like right, right here. Right here, not on my this. Asthma. My asthma. Do you it's not my asthma, it's M-I-A-S-M-A. -A. Guys, I, 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 we will have to check all those words because I was looking at the words really wrong, but I won't get the whole night looking This is God. really cool. Though. Like what? We're talking with an intelligent spear. We first got in touch with the girl, the little girl. That was girl. him. <gasps> that was him. The other spare me. The other scares me. Who scares you? Is it another spirit that scares you? Did the little girl die of an illness related to the chest? Yes. Okay, can you uncross them? Are we talking to the little girl right now? Or am I talking to the little girl right now? No. Am I still talking to... I'm really, really heavy chested right now. Oh, I'm like wheezing. Okay, one sec. Wait, let's... Did you hear that? Asthma? Okay. Did the little girl have asthma? That's why I was sent here? Was the little girl a child of one of the servants who worked here? So, how many servants were there then? Was there a servant for each room that was up here? No. Okay, can you uh, center the rods, please? Okay, thank you. So, were some of the rooms specifically for the servants' children? Yes. Okay. Can you uncross the rods? Thank you. Who is that? They never found me. <gasps> oh! What do you mean? What do you mean by they never, by they never found you? I wonder if they would throw the bodies overboard.
the yeah. Scottish people who died on to the boat. To prevent the others to, of catching diseases. Yeah. Oh. Did you make your way here to pick though? Terrifying. <gasps> Dude, do you feel this coldness right here? Yes, it's it, right it, here. It's just right there. Yeah. Like literally you right guys, here. You have a breeze. It's right here. Oh my god. No, the room where look at I, I'm chilling up. Oh. Dude, I got goosebumps right Look now. at that. Yeah. The Sorry, hairs are man. standing on my arms, guys. His? His. Palma? The ramp on again. It's just slight touches. It's just like mockery. He's taunting us. Is the room I'm in one of the children's room? What's your name? Stacy. Oh, oh. Stacy! You have the name. You asked for her name. You have the name right away. Stacy Wilfred? Is it Stacy Wilfred? Can you touch that red light to, to tell us that it's. Demonstrate. Okay. Look. That's what it's going to do, okay? When, if you go close to it, it's just going to light up. It won't hurt you. Everything here is harmless. That's my stomach. Can you touch that red light, please? Exposed. Are you afraid to be exposed? We just want to tell your story. We want to show the world that you exist. Argue. Argue? Are you arguing with another spirit? Are you the woman who was pregnant and lost your baby? Are you afraid to be exposed? You just want to tell your story? Yes. Okay. Want to show the world Can you uncross the rods? And did you ever... Are you arguing with another spirit? I don't know what to ask, I just drew a blank. Okay, I'm just gonna try and like regroup. So, from what I picked up from that session, I think that this was the room at the top of the original staircase because it outlooks the harbor. And the woman with the child, the woman who was pregnant with the child was related to the servants, was part of like the servants who worked here. But the child spirit that is seen here is not with the, was not the baby that was lost from that woman. And the woman's like, I'm very confused right now, and I, I don't know, I don't know why I'm so confused. I feel like I just kind of forgot the whole dowsing thing, dowsing session. Okay, I'm just going to confirm because I'm a little confused. Stacy, are you the woman who was pregnant and lost your baby? Yes, okay, thank you. Sorry about my confusion. And... Are you related to the child spirit that is here? No. Okay. Were you guys here? Can you send to the rods? Thank you. Trees. Celebrating. Trees. That's the second time that spirit talker said trees. And here, celebrate. 
Yes, this year we will be celebrating the 250th anniversary of you guys coming here. This year it makes, it makes 250 years that you guys came from Scotland and settled here. Thank you. Were you guys here at different time periods? So confused. Me too, man. It's so confusing. Look, we came from Halifax. Oh, 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 oh. And Dude, I that was going off. And I came all the way from Quebec to see you. It's kind of weird. I went off crazy once. I said Halifax. Do you get off Halifax? Trap. What? Was that a trick to make us move? Trip. Not trick. Trip. trip. With a P. Yeah. Trip with a P. They made a trip. A boat trip. <laughs> they came here by boat. It's funny because the settlers, some of them stayed here and some of them went to other places in Nova Scotia. So what if one of the settlers went to Halifax? <gasps> yeah. Are you one of the settlers that went to Halifax? If so, talk. Leo. Leo? Leo and I know. And I know. If so you you went to settle in Halifax instead of settling here. Is that true? Is that it? Can you touch that red light to tell us we're right? If we are? No? Okay, then. If you're one of the settlers that stayed here, can you touch that? Bodies below. Are you talking about me? <laughs> Do you find my hair weird? Do you like Omar's hair? I understand. I worked here. Oh, I worked. I worked here. A general store. Feathers. Did oh, you? Or the maid or a servant. Okay. We're in the servant's quarter. Were you the servants? Or one of the servants? If so, can you touch one of the devices the best that you can? Any devices. Two yells. Like they, they answer, they, they touch something, and afterwards they just like, when we ask, they stop. I know. Can you move something? With these rods, you can also kind of point them to where you are in the room. So if you're able to, would you be able to... Sorry. If you can, would you be able to point me in the direction of where you're standing? Okay, so... That's exactly where I thought you were. Um, it's pointing, I know the camera can't pick this up, but it's pointing t towards the doorway. And in my head, I envisioned a woman standing in the doorway. Can you recenter the rods? So, so, so cool. Thank you so much, Stacy. Now, is there any other spirit in the room? If there is, point the rods to where you are. Are 
Are you the woman who's standing up and looking out the window to the harbor, waiting for her husband? Yes. You're shyer than Stacy. And is Stacy your sister? I feel like you're a lot shyer than your sister and a little bit more standoffish to new people. That's fair. Are you guys at peace? Yeah? That's good. I'm happy you're both at peace. And Stacy, I hope that you and your baby are also at peace. This is crazy. This is a crazy experiment. Just because this place is not that well publicized. But are you the woman that was emotional in the psychic that the psychic picked up? The psychic picked up that emotional woman, remember? Her husband was like, I'm protecting you. Oh. Her she was afraid of her husband for her husband because he was out at sea, remember? Yeah. Are you the woman? that the psychic picked up. If so, touch one of the devices, please. I have a device here, but I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna put it right here. It's called a flashlight. I'm gonna put it right here. Just turn it to open it, just like that, okay? And twist it the other way to close it, okay? Turn it off now. Can you turn it off? Thank you. Thank oh. you. Oh. No Thank way, you. wow. Now can you turn it back on? If you're the woman that the, yeah. that the psychic and please, can you touch that light and light it up, please? And that would be muchly appreciated. I'm pretty sure you're a nice Opera. person. Opera. Opera. Back then, they were listening to lots of opera. Opera singers and yeah, classical music. My ashes are here. Oh. oh. Okay. C. C. Oh no, okay, no, it's C. Oh. That, oh. That's probably me. C, like C, seeing, not the sea, the ocean. Like as in eyes, see. Yeah. And are you still with us? If so, turn that flashlight back on, please. Can you turn back? the flashlight so it shines can you turn it back on how was it oh <gasps> stand I'm telling the truth oh, oh I'm standing behind you I'm and telling I'm the, the truth. truth yeah she's standing behind me are you okay I yeah. like the forest I'm good I like the forest. She's standing behind you. The red pod just went off behind her. I like the forest and that spirit talker said twice tree. The, the word tree and trees. Wow. It you okay? Yeah. Freezing right here. That was honestly really freaking cool. What what happened? No, like it was really cool to be honest. Like the dowsing rods were like automatic, answering my questions, pointing to where they were. And like in my head, I kept it. I kept envisioning that a woman was standing in the doorway. And then I asked the, the rods, like, can you tell me where you are? And it pointed right to the doorway. Just an effort. Yeah, it takes effort to light up the flashlight, but can you do it, please? I also think that the little girl who died here died of asthma. Um, I started, my asthma my started asthma. acting up. 
We need to Google that Latin word right now, my ass, my asthma. My Remember ass. that, bro? Yeah. I'm gonna go get my computers. Yeah. You said, you, how did you get that? So I was in the oh. room and I was talking to the woman who- yeah, The low battery here, Farah. Low okay. battery on that phone. So I was talking to the woman who was pregnant and who lost her baby. And um, her name is Stacy. And um, um, I got this feeling that like my chest was getting really, really heavy and I would take a deep breath and I was wheezing. So usually that's a symptom of asthma. Like I have asthma, so like it's kind of, so I asked them, I said, are you making me feel this for a specific reason? And it crossed right away. And then I asked like, is that how you died? And it said, no. And then I asked, is that how the child spirit died? And then it said, yes. So mm. I'm thinking that the little child spirit died of asthma. Asthma. Okay, I'm gonna look this up right now, okay? Which would make sense because back in the day, like asthma wasn't as easily treated as it was today. I it know, right? It wasn't like us. Christine. The weird thing is we got a Collapse. word here. <gasps> Collapse. She fell. When, no, when you, you, well, probably she collapsed when she had her, her, my neck, or asthma attack, but it's like the lungs mm -hmm. collapse when you have an asthma attack. Tunnel? Wow. Okay, so we got the word miasma. M-I-A-S-M-A. So I'm going to Google that right now. And if that comes up as asthma in Latin... <gasps> oh, no, that's it because you're for, uh, you, you put your phone. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it was also really cool too because... At the end of our conversation, I asked, I said, can you make one of the devices go off? And then the REM pod, oh, what? Oh. Miasma, we got a highly unpleasant or unhealthy smell or vapor. On our, we heard the word smell. Yeah. Come and on. smells and smoke and different things like that can trigger people's asthma. Oh. For example, smoke, like cigarette smoke, cigar smoke, any type of smoke like that can trigger someone's asthma. Oh my god. Exanimar, I'm gonna look that up too. Exanimar meaning. What? Deprive of life or spirit. <gasps> hmm. To deprive of life or spirit, that's what Exanimar means. Salt. Salt? What? Also, your battery on your GoPro is like almost dead. Mine? On, um, I don't, I didn't check yours, but I know for sure ours. Oh, okay. Oh man, we might have to do, um... Uh, Genevieve! <laughs> Genevieve. Whoa. And I'll have to change the ba that battery. Ask. Do it like the green light. Put all your energy into it. Who are we talking to right now? I don't know. I don't know. I just know I asked the K2 to, to, to put the K2 all the way to red and went straight away. Wow. And now he's playing with yours. Did you hear that? Yes. Oh, and the K2 just went off. Huh? <gasps> Who are we talking to? If it's a woman, can you make the K2 go all the way to red? That green light? The box on the left, can you put it all the way to red? We settle here. <gasps> no way! Are you just passing through right now? Blood. Blood? Blood? Your K2? Blinking, bro. Can you make any of the other devices go off? And guys, I so you know, look at my EMF reader. There's no electricity. So it is, there's nothing to make those two go off. Car, sir. Cursor. Cursor. Yeah, but like, why isn't the other one going off though? It's almost like they're only taking the middle one. The middle one and the, the one, the, the normal one. 
now they're playing with yours. They were not playing with yours before. Mm -hmm. And they were only playing with uh, Jeff. The green one. <gasps> Witten. 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 What is that? I don't know. Saying such odd words at times. <sighs> oh. <gasps> Key two went all the way. Oh, it's doing the second one now. Can you make it go to red, please? Yep, Use the all your ones. energy and make it go off fully. Oh, oh. Come on, you can do it. All the way up. Put all your energy in the middle one, please. Come on. You can do it, I know. It's like they're trying. If it's too hard, you can go back to that green light next to it. Is the little girl here? Are you still in room 10? If you're still in room 10, can you make one of the devices go off? Or knock? Virginia. Virginia again? Hello, Virginia. Can you touch one, any of our devices, please? Or us? Shot. 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 Did somebody got shot? I also personally think that at some point you guys should spend some time in room 10. In, because the woman I think is looking out the window. Which is room 10. Yeah. Oh, K2. The one at the end? Yeah, K2 is going off, huh? Yeah, the one that I was in, dowsing, has some heavy activity on it. Guys? Oh, what the freak? <laughs> what is happening right now? I don't know, I'm trying to... You know what's weird? Like... This whole night, all of us have just been like, malfunctioning. I know. It's almost like, <laughs> it just... It's weird, our gear... Like... Oh my good lord, look at that go. Oh, you, yeah, yours also like, went bright. Our new one. Oh, someone's there. It's cold here. Yeah, it is. Where where I'm where I am now, it's cold. Okay. I have a little device here. You guys, you know. Take photo. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna put a device right here. And with that device, you will be able to tell us yes or no, okay? If you go on this side, the left side, it's going to light up green. If you go on the right side, it's going to light up red, okay? Oh, is that right, Bob? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you answer with a triangle, please? Portal. Caroline. Portal. Portal. Caroline. Caroline. Caroline, did you just come through the portal? You can use that blue blinking light to answer. Kato's going off. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing's going off at all. And the other one. Wow. It's like one's going off, the other's going off. Yeah. One's going off, the other goes off. Is there a portal here in this building? Yes or no? Oh. Oh, was that down there? Oh, yeah, it was my run pod. Did anyone else just see that? I think I just saw a shadow. I thought so too. Out of the corner of my eye, there's a shadow right yeah, there. Yeah, over there. Yeah. 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 I wasn't paying attention, but I, I literally... Yeah, the corner of my eye, I just saw a shadow. Right there. Yeah. Who did I just see? Did we... Did just... Did just... We just saw you? Can't speak. 
Can you use the triangle to answer, please? from our devices. Don't worry. Take all that energy. I was treated bad. Oh. <laughs> Were you? Were you one of the Scottish immigrants who came on the Hector Ke Hector Quay? Hector Key? The Hector Key. Oh, the red pod. I'm just going to go down here. I'm gonna place this camera down here, okay? It won't hurt you, it's gonna catch you if you decide to appear, okay? So do your best. Do you smell that burning? Yeah, it's still filming. Do you smell burning? I smell burning. Healthy. They're definitely up here. I just mm -hmm. feel like they're trying to like they're not fully getting enough energy though to. I'm telling you, this room is is. This is the room. It's cold here. Active. Now. It is cold. It's freezing here. Like now. here, let's see if they're still in here. Because what I'm telling you, like when you review that footage of my dowsing, it it's it's cool. Like it's I'm excited for you guys <laughs> to see it. Let's just see if they are still in here. Let's just quickly do a couple questions on dowsing to see if um, yeah. they're still in here. You don't okay. hear that? It's bass. What? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're wheezing. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. wheezing. And I was perfectly fine out there. As soon as I get in here, you're wheezing. it's acting up. I'm telling you, this room is energetic. Okay. To the spirits that I was talking to before in this room, are you still in here with me? Thank you. Can you uncross them, please? Thank you. Am I talking to Stacy? No. No. Ask if it's the little girl. No, one second. Can you point to me? where you are right now. Yeah, so it's you. It's the lady in the window who was waiting for her husband at sea. Okay, do you want me to do an Estes method? So which that is, is pretty much I'm going to blindfold myself and connect myself to a different way to talk to you. If I do that, are you going to talk to me? Thank you. Can you uncross the rods, please? Wow. Thank you. So, I just want to confirm, is Stacy not in the room with me anymore? No. Is the little girl in the room? Is the little girl in the room? First, can you recenter the rods, please? Thank you. Is the little girl in the room? Thank you. <laughs> Sweetie, can you uncross them? Thank you. And can you show me where you are in the room right now? Point the rods to wherever you are. It moved that way. Yeah, it's still going. And it's moving to the door. And the music box went off. It's pointing to the door. And Music box went off. I'm telling you, this room is where you want to be. It's this room. Yeah, move, we're moving our stuff here. Alright, everybody. So, right now we are hopping into Estes Method. Uh, Chelsea's already in. And as of right now, we're going to try and find out 
who this little girl is, if she can give us any sort of message as to why she's still here, and potentially just get some more closure. I am so just wanting to get closure, so yeah, let's let's get it. Who are we talking to? Can you tell me? Tell us your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bien. 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 Est-ce que tu parles en français? Oui. Oh! No. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Jean-François. Quel est ton nom? Bro, I'm seeing my breath. No way. Yeah. Go. No, we cannot go, sweetie. We're sleeping here tonight. Are we talking to the little girl? Again, my name is Omar. Are my you able name is Jeff. My real name is Jean-Francois, but everybody... See my shadow. <gasps> yes, we saw shadow earlier on. Was it you? You good? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the window? Are you the lady that is waiting for her husband by the window? Harbor. The harbor. What? Harbor? The harbor. Yeah, that's what it said, the harbor. So you're... I you're... had a bad pass. Oh, <gasps> no way! And the music box went off. I had a bad pass. Why do you say that you had a bad past? The music box kept going off. It's going me. off, bro. So can, can you tell us your name, please? Est-ce que tu peux nous dire ton nom? Lost. Lost. You're lost. I'm sorry. Do you want help? Help. Oh. Oh, oh. You gotta be kidding me, right? How can we help you? Do you want a prayer? Do you want us to, to guide you to the light? I'm young. Oh. I have a question for you. If you can answer that, okay? Find me. Oh. My oh. heart. Running. My heart. Wow. Running. Can you run in the passage in the hallway so we can hear you? Hallway. Oh. Hallway. Yes, please. Can you run in the hallway? We're gonna listen. My brain is blocked it's right now. Mom. My brain is completely blocked. Bro, mom. It's just a mom. Mom on the spirit box? Yes, M-U-M. Like a mommy. Like a mama. <laughs> You're looking for your mother? Are we talking to... Shh. Oh my god. So, do you want me to ask the questions? It just got cold around me. Did you just come right beside me right now? Drew, no, I'm hot. No. I was freezing, I was seeing my breath. You should come right here. I was seeing my breath like seconds ago. Did you just come beside me, yes or no? I'm here. Yes, we know we are here here. <gasps> My battery just went from 100 minutes to 96 minutes and it just and went up to 102. What? Oh my god. I'm standing here. Yes. <laughs> Can you touch one of our devices to show us that you're here with us? You have a orange box on the on the 
on the dresser over there. Whatever. Whatever. Whenever. 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 Whenever you want to do it, you can go near that orange box on the desk over there. You have lights. If you go near oh, baby. it, they will light up. Baby. The woman. Are we talking to the woman that was pregnant? The young girl. My the, baby. Is the girl that's seen up here with us right now, with the with the child. It's almost like I got some sort of weird block right now. You, Jeff, Jeff, I fell. I fell. I fell. Is, <gasps> is this... Girl. Are we talking to the woman that that psychic encountered? Can you give us a yes or a no? Are you the entity that communicated with a lady? A lady that could communicate with her? Called a psychic? I'm losing her. Who are you losing? Your daughter? I know that you lost a baby. We were li really sorry about that. Help me. How can we help you? Tell us, please. Do you want us to say a prayer? So you can cross over to the light? It's painful. What is painful? To cross over? Look at the temperature, Lomar. It was a 66, now it's a 67. It's going up. It's weird because... It was dropping. Frank. Dude, it's warm beside me now. Frank! <gasps> it's literally warm beside me right now. <sighs> Come again? <gasps> Are you making the room warmer? Wow, this is weird. That is weird. So we came from Halifax to figure out who this little girl is. Hello. Are you able to give us any answers as to why you still hang around here? Can you tell us? I just want her. Who? Who do you want? My baby. You just, so... Confirm that you're the woman that fell and died here. So you're the woman that fell and passed away? Why can't I see her? So you cannot see your baby in the afterlife? Is that it? I'm sorry if you don't, if you cannot see your baby in the afterlife. Are the original owners, the walkers, here with us right now? Sitting. Someone was just crying. Oh, sitting. Oh, sitting. I prefer the sea. You prefer the sea? Are you the husband that was at sea and died? And passed away. And now you came back to see if your wife is still here. Say something in French. Save her. We oui, yes. But can you tell us how we can save her? Do you want us to help her pass the light to cross over? She can hear me. If you can hear, if she can hear you. On help. the bed. On the, on bed? the bed? Where on the bed? Is, is she at the end of the bed? Walking around it. Yes. Are you the, are you the spirit that I just, I, wow, this is crazy. It went from cold to hot now. It is hot all around me. Are you the spirit that I'm feeling getting cold and hot around me? Yes or no? Yep. 
Okay. So the woman with the the girl with the that was pregnant is walking around here. Francis. Francis. Are you are you the husband that was at sea? Was Francis the name of your husband? To your left. Oh, I'm looking. Little girl. to touch Chelsea. If you want to touch somebody, come and touch me. I won't mind you touching me. No, don't touch Chelsea. Touch me. Or you can touch me. You can only communicate through her, okay? Yeah. Like she's offering you. That's the only thing you're able to take that she's offering. Are there any other messages you want? 12 minute take her up. What's that? My GoPro just shut off. Whoa. What? Bye bye. Oh! It was oh. good talk. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. You alright? Someone touched me. I know. We told her to. to don't touch you. Really? Yeah. And I, we told him, touch us instead. Like, it literally felt like someone just went up to me and, like, poked me. Like, it was really cool. Okay, but guess what? What? We're having a conversation with the lady that is waiting for her husband at the window. Actually, that and the, the woman that was pregnant, her, um, her sister. So, like, how were the answers and stuff? Like, was it... <laughs> We're having a conversation. We were having a full-on conversation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Jeff started seeing his breath. It was cold all around here. Then it got hot for him. Then it got hot for me. We had Francis. We have Francis, Arthur. Francis, Arthur, and Sean. And Frank. Hmm. Four names. Maybe those, maybe two of them were, had something to do with the husband. Important. And maybe one of the Important. other ones. Or the other ones had to do with the man who got the sister pregnant. Probably. I mean, it does take a man to get someone pregnant, so. Well, no, not Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in. I, I'm going in. Yeah? You're going to test this? All right. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in. All right, so we're now going round two. Jeff is hopping in, and we are still on the hunt to find more answers to why these people are hanging around here, and if we can somehow get some actual hard evidence for you guys. So you never know. Sometimes we leave with nothing. Sometimes we leave with a lot. So let's just let's hope. So my friend is hopping into the Estes method now, which is basically going to allow you nice. to talk through him. Okay, so whatever you say, he will say to us to help communicate. So help us out and give us any message you have. Dove? Can you tell us who's in the room with us right now? Right. Are you to the right of someone? Andrea. Oh, did you 
you hear that outside? C'est parti. It's gone. There is someone, something that moved outside the door. Who was outside the door? You know, this town has a history for being very haunted. Are you coming from the town or are you coming from the yeah. inn? <laughs> said something in French, but I didn't have time to understand it. Oh, what the? What? This camera literally just moved. Really? Yeah. I didn't touch it. What the? What? This camera literally just moved. Really? Yeah. I didn't touch it. Are you a boy or a girl? A garçon or a... How do you say girl in French? Say to get un garçon ou un fille. That was bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that it is speaking French because like we're in a very non-French No, the language. Scottish would not have spoken French. Can the you storm? Was there a storm on the boat on the boat when the Surprise. Wow. Yeah, I mean you guys were pretty surprised when you got here. You were promised all of this good stuff and then you got here and I don't know if you're bumping the the bed moving. I wasn't really touching the bed, but I... Are you sitting on the bed with Jeff? I wasn't really touching the... La couleur, the color? Can you answer if there, is a, there, if there was a storm on the boat when you were coming here? From Scotland. Hard and working? Hard working. That's right, so yeah. they would have been promised good hard work. Yeah money, homes. But that, then when they got here, there was none of that for them. None of that for them. And some of them even died here. And some of them also died on the boat getting here and were thrown overboard. Even though you were here in 1773, are there some left over that, that come here? Broken? Always have? Kind of like a broken Always promise. Always have. Are you at peace? It was conjured. What was conjured? Let's go. Are we still talking to the same women? The this women? is home. This is home. Are we talking to the original owners of this building? If you're the original owners, can you tell us your name, please? It's like the spirits aren't very content or welcoming to men in this room. Do you not like talking to men? Do you prefer talking to women? I don't know, but I keep hearing stuff in the hall. I know. It's like the energy has moved out of here. You look at the temperature, though. It's gone up. 69 right when we now. When first got in here, it's 66. 66 going up to 69. Can you tell us where you are? Or if you want us to leave the room and go somewhere else? Just heard singing like opera. Do you want us to go in the hallway? No. No. It's like stagnant. I feel... Morning. What could that be like morning as in like... Morning. Morning her, her baby? Yeah, morning her husband's. People say they see people up here. See women. See a little girl. Tell us more about yourself. Can you send us a message? There is nothing. 
Excusez-moi, excuse me. Make me trap. Are you trapped here? Le contour de, de, de surrounding. Before we go to bed, are there any more answers you could possibly give us to try and get some closure? Try and bring the owners, you know, the some, ladies? some closure. Oh, the ladies. Yes. Get out. Oh. oh. I'm agitated. I'm oh. agitated. Get out. Okay, tap him out. I'm agitated. Give me a second here. Are we safe? We're not here to upset you. If I don't know, do another. Do another. We're not here to upset you. We're not here to step on any toes. Um, we're also not here to overstay and kind of cross boundaries. So we will respect you if you want us to leave. Our mommy. <gasps> oh my God. And Jeff was. Yeah. Do you know that our friend was in the army? You. Wow. That was That's cool. that was crazy. Yeah. Just don't something. Are we? Do we still have more time with you? Like, are we? Are we? Stepping, hey. Are we stepping on any toes right now? You are nice. Who's nice? I think they're talking about you. La concurrence, uh, competition. Competition. I think you're nice too, and I've enjoyed chatting with you. But can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? How you ended up here? What your story is? That's what we want to know. The French I hear is not a French Canadian. It's a French from France. Just saying. So. Are you, are you Acadian? Ugly. Ugly? Are you Acadian? L'armée, the army? Oh! Whoa! And that said army earlier. Okay, <laughs> so it's starting to connect things. Oh, the army. Are you from the army or are you talking about Jeff being in the army? Just said something that I didn't understand. Did you, how did you come to Nova Scotia? How did you get here? Were you one of the first settlers of this land? Bye. Talk about something? Whoa, the bed just moved. Yeah, yeah. The bed, the bed's moving. Favorite. I swear to God, I'm just sitting here and the bed just pushed out towards me. It's me. It's me. Wait, wait, wait. Who? Who just moved the bed? Please tell us your name before we tap out Jeff. Please. The T-Rex. What is your name? You know all of our names. All I'm asking you is, just, is just your name. Please. It's starting. <sighs> Alright bro, we got something to tell you. Alright, so do you want me to start do you want me to start with uh, the scariest thing to me or the most shocking? Get this. Our spirit talker said army. <laughs> do you remember saying army? <laughs> yeah, there army. you go. So some someone here okay? they know you're in the, the you were in the army or they are in the army themselves or were. Yeah. And then the bed moved a couple times. I wasn't touching the bed. I don't know if that was... The, the bed was moving like you were bumping yourself in the bed. 
No, at one point I was like fiddling with the camera here. Yeah, which I, is and neat. I lifted my, my, my blindfold because I thought you were pushing on the bed like to tell me to stop. No. And I lifted and when I saw that you were adjusting your camera, I just, I went back down. Yeah. But and it, like, uh, it's dude, like, I was crisscrossed right here. It's and like it, all the time you were doing this in the bed, on the bed. It's like somebody was doing like this on the bed. Like leaning over? Like somebody just was just like covering over you just get, getting some bumps like that on the bed oh my god it's like when you were walking you were like it, getting the the, the the end of the bed you no, know dude like i was crisscrossed almost and then the bed literally felt like it like shook mm -hmm. like an but earthquake it, I, I, at a moment i felt like somebody was always like bumping in the bed wow and that there was french coming in and it was a French speaking person, not a French Canadian. Maybe so, like maybe an Acadian? Probably. Yeah. Could have been an Acadian. Because it, it was a French accent. And then at one point, too, we were, we were trying to like. Warm? It's not warm here, it's cold. And especially where my foot, my feet are. And it's, it's climbing. Dude, yeah. it's 69 now. 69 from 66. And that? Out of battery. Huh. Out of battery. Wow. I had 85% on the GoPro. Wow. And oh, I. Premier. And I didn't even do the, the whole freaking night. Oh. 85% on, uh, on a GoPro and. No, no way, no way, no way. With less than the, the the energy I have in my GoPro, I did the whole investigation on, in uh, the courthouse in L'Assomption. I did with have one battery. Uh, with, I had less than eighty percent. It was keeping shutting off in the basement, but I had it for quite some times before. It, oh man! Yeah. Hostess. 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 Weird names. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I'm. Um, we might. We should I take a break. Yeah, um, take a let, breather. Let the energy and cool for us. We'll regroup there. and. Yeah. We'll get back. Wow, that was weird. Wow. All right, family. That is it for this episode. Um, overall, I think we actually could have come in contact with the little girl and the, even the woman that was pregnant. Um, at this point, we're tired and uh, we're heading out. What'd you guys think of the night? I loved it. I it was... loved it. They had great responses. Uh, the building, the vibe of the building is just incredible. I know, right? Yeah. Great place, great place. If you come to Nova Scotia to pick two county, come stay at the Scotsman Inn, come see Sandy and Kathy. Mm -hmm. They're really nice, he's really awesome. I mean, he's gonna tell you a couple of stories about Scotland. Oh, they're amazing people and, you know, this place has so much history. Not only that, Picto yeah. itself, the settlers came here in 1773. A lot of people say that they're still here. It just plays a huge part into like just the history and to just feel what it's like here. And if you guys ever come down here, Picto County, Nova Scotia, come to the Scotsman, just like Jeff said, that is mm -hmm. it right there. That's on the backside. But uh, yeah, this is a so, dream come true, right? Yeah, a great location, great night. <laughs> what great what was your take on it? I liked it. A lot of positive responses. A lot of positive energy. It was really cool. My dowsing session was super cool, and I'm really excited to watch it. Like, yeah. Really pumped. All right. Well, ready? On to Take the next off. spot. On to the next spot. Let's go. Mm -hmm.